And what Key Fund does is it helps young people to build the skills and the confidence to kind of go out there and, and be what they want to be. And we've got a very nifty way of doing this. Um, young people come together as a group and they give themselves a name and they plan and design a small project and they're supported by a trained key fund facilitator and as they're planning their project um, they're developing our 12 key fund skills. The key fund were one of the first organisations that were, was brave enough to, to really look at the, the, the business model of how to run an organisation. We've stuck to the core ethos and principles of what key fund wants to achieve but we've wrapped around this a clever business model and took examples of best practice from the private sector, from the public sector. To, to make a strong organisation sustainable you have to have the right people involved um, and have to develop the right strategic partnerships and, and the Key Fund have done that um, really well. I've always been um, a huge fan of, of the Key Fund model. We use the Key Fund with, with many groups of young people, clear learning journey there for young people. There are four stages to Key Fund so the young people can start small and build up and it's at stages three and four that we ask those young people to think about how their projects can benefit people other than themselves and it's at that point where we see some fantastic projects. We were at Education of our School EOTAS in um, we were all suffering from different things, like I had depression, there was another girl who had depression, one had just had a baby. Um, and when we started the port, we thought it was like good and that, and then we decided that'd be good to write, like do a book. And we had a book launch, and all the proceeds went to Cancer Research UK and EOTAS. Um, this poem is just about when I was depressed, it's one like the first ones I wrote. Um, and it means quite a lot to me because it's all about how I felt. Yeah, it's called The Tiger in Me. There is a tiger in me that feels annoyed. She takes it out on her loved ones and has not worked out why. There is a tiger in me that pulls out its fierce claws and rips out the hearts of innocent people who are trying to help. There is a tiger in me that takes over me, tearing down the curtains and clawing the walls, terrifying her loved ones. And although I have asked it to leave, it is content and will not. There is a tiger in me that feels annoyed. The poetry itself stopped us being depressed because when I felt down or when there was something troubling us, um, I would write it. I got my life back. I got a whole new life.